Notice from the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration. By annual security update, item number of itemization has been initiated. Until security update is complete, all files are locked. For emergency updates, please access Emergency Data Archival System, EDAS. Maria Jones, Director, RACER. Item number SCP-001, Object Class, Euclid, Clearance Designation, Level 5. Special containment procedures. SCP-001 cannot be secured or contained conventionally, and it is unknown if it may occur in the future. As such, a reactive approach is to be adopted. Said approach consists of the following chapters of the Forbidden City Convention. 1. Prevention and minimization of the conditions conductive to the possible occurrence of SCP-001 or its equivalent via Forbidden City Convention Chapter 1. 2. Management of organizational transition and unity following implementation of Forbidden City Convention Chapter 1 via Forbidden City Convention Chapters 2 and 3 respectively. All above mentioned chapters of the Forbidden City Convention are not to be altered unless via unanimous vote by the O5 Council. Description SCP-001 is a successful occurrence of a CK-class restructuring scenario which generated the current reality via alteration of a previous iteration of reality. Based on first-person accounts, SCP-001 occurred on the 1st of June in the year 1900, Arnold money of the previous reality. The nature of SCP-001 is such that all causes, events, references, and memories of a Cold War I referred to as the Fifth Occult War in the previous reality are omitted and replaced with various anomalous and non-anomalous parallels in the current reality. Foundation documentation regarding a Cold War I is obtained from anecdotal accounts of 13 non-anonymous human beings who retained their memories of the previous reality via a phenomenon coined as partial SCP-001 immunity. However, the mechanism behind partial SCP-001 immunity is unknown and will not be assessed as decided by the O5 Council, efforts to identify additional individuals, if any, with partial SCP-001 immunity are on indefinite hiatus, as decided by the O5 Council. Below is a bridge list of events during a Cold War I and plausible analogous events in the current reality. See document OWI for an expanded list. A Cold War I Phenomenon Description Analog in Current Reality Referent to the term Fifth Occult War A global war occurring throughout the 19th century Anno Domani coalesced from three separate conflicts in Europe, Napoleonic War, East Asia, Day Fight Conquest, and North America, American Civil War. It is also notable for overt use of anonymous objects, leading to an IK-class global civilization collapse scenario. A conflict in northern China concurrent with the Boxer Rebellion, whereby members of the Brotherhood of Harmonious Fists allegedly utilized unnamed anomalous objects. Although usage of anomalous objects was minuscule, the O5 Council lobbied for the term Fifth Occult War to be the official referent among organizations with awareness of anomalous phenomena, and it was officially acknowledged by the Global Occult Coalition during the Foundation GOC Summit of 1953. Coronation of Napoleon I. After his coronation, Emperor Napoleon declared neo nepticism to be state religion of France and Europa to be its patron deity. Napoleon was crowned Emperor of the French in the ceremony presided by Pope Pius VII. 
No indication of neo narcissism or Europa worshipping is identified throughout Napoleon's regime. SCP-2515 is the only evidence suggestive of either. They fight conquest of East Asia. Most of East Asia was invaded by a civilization of humanoids called the Daphites. Conquest began from the three northeastern provinces of the Qing dynasty. No recorded anonymous offense records from SCP-140 maintained that the Daphite civilization was destroyed by the Mongols in the 13th century under the money. That being said, Daphite artifacts have been found in the northern areas of the three northeastern provinces. American Civil War A civil war between the United States of America and Confederate States of America. Both factions, among others, were supplied weaponry from a group named the Factory. The war gradually spread to Mexico and Central America, following relocation of the Confederate government. No factory involvement identified. The American Civil War did not escalate beyond the continental United States. The Key Pacification Campaign An initiative led by the Seaworth anti Coat Regiment to suppress the Thurki, an organized gang known for harassing the Fatula, who were deemed to be co belligerent with the British East India Company against their fight incursion into India. Suppression mandated by the Thurki and the Koiti Suppression Acts, 1836 to 48 Anno Domoni, Neo Sarkic involvement confirmed. Vatican Holy Office for Secrets and Prophecies An organization with an awareness of anonymous phenomena affiliated with the Holy See. During Napoleon's invasion of the Italian peninsula, members have taken refuge in South America, African Free State, and the Middle East. The Artifact Section, a department of the Vatican Holy Office defected to the Italian Unification Movement, informed the Foundation Precursor Royal Office for Christian Artifacts. The Vatican Holy Office eventually merged with the Foundation in 1964 Anno Domani, establishment of the Mexican Empire. Self-proclaimed as Sem Anahok, a successor state to the Aztec Empire, subjects of Sem Anahok and media preceded by them possessed memetic capabilities which were used to subjugate neighboring states such as Texas, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. The Second Mexican Empire was established by French intervention and ruled by Emperor Maximilian I. He allegedly broke the marriage alliance with an instance of SCP-2155-1 prior to his execution. East Tennessee Convention Pro-Union elements based in East Tennessee succeeded from the state of Tennessee following the latter's involvement in the American Civil War. The resultant state of Franklin was admitted into the United States of America and is the only state in the Union to separate from a Confederate state. The East Tennessee Convention ended with the occupation of East Tennessee by the Confederate Army. Instead, West Virginia succeeded from Virginia and remained a state following the American Civil War. Taiping Rebellion A rebellion in day fight occupied southern China, orchestrated by a slave named Hong Wen Kun, who claimed to have received divine revelation from a deity called Mother Dragon. It was suppressed by the day fights following the destruction of Taiping capital Taisuking. From we got on King prior to Taiping liberation and massacre of the city's residents. A type S event announced by SCP-089, which was resolved by an expeditionary force co-organized by Her Majesty's Foundation for the Secure Containment of the Paranormal and the State Nor. Hong instead subscribed to a personal interpretation of Christianity and renamed himself Hong Chu Chuan. No psychic involvement identified. Nonetheless, captured Taiping subjects exhibit signs of mental maladies. Nanking was temporarily renamed Qiangqing, 
while controlled by typing rebels. To mid massacre, systematic slaughter of about 150,000 ethnic Mongols in day fight occupied Mongolia by a day fight thrall. Reports indicate that said thrall possessed two braided weapons and possesses unspecified regenerative abilities. The corpses of rebels were taken by day fight forces for unknown purposes. The Xinjiang incident similarly involved a massacre of about 150,000 ethnic Mongols, although it was caused by the Chinese secret society Jindan Do. Existence of Jindan Do in previous reality cannot be ascertained due to limited sources. The cause and origin of SCP-001 are unknown and cannot be ascertained. It is unknown if SCP-001 or its equivalent have occurred prior to its known occurrence or may ever occur in the future. Additionally, it is unknown if SCP-001 represents a typical or atypical occurrence of a CK-class restructuring scenario. In the event that SCP-001 or its equivalent has occurred or will occur, it is speculated that the majority, if not all of mankind and or sapient entities who have no recollection of them or the events prior to the moment of occurrence. It cannot be ascertained if partial SCP-001 immunity is applicable to future occurrences of SCP-001 or its equivalent. The definition of SCP-001 was finalized by the O5 Council in a 5-2-4-2-4 vote, and the Forbidden City Convention was ratified on the 7th of September in the year 1901 Anno Domani. Addendum 1. Excerpts from the Forbidden City Convention. Chapter 1. The Foundation. The following organizations are to be dissolved and disavowed from their respective patrons, and their personnel and resources are to undergo merger. Her Majesty's Foundation for the Secure Containment of the Paranormal, Estate Noir, Tsar Sears, Kaisernitz, Dutch Provenver, Paranormal Engelgen Haydn, Copa, American Secure Containment Initiative, Imperial Commission on Transgressive Occurrences, Royal Office for Christian Artifacts, Special Investigation Board, Council of the Dutch East Indies, Inner Africa Expeditory Society, the Knights of the Military Order of Royal E. Aragon, Bureau of Omero, Abnormality Institute, Zeroth Anti Cult Regiment. In third place, a new tree organization is to be established. The mission of this new tree organization is to secure and contain various anomalous objects in order to protect mankind from said objects. The reverend for the new tree organization is agreed to be the foundation. The following alternative reference institute, organization, and front has been proposed and rejected. The aforementioned 13 organizations in which the foundation is formed from are henceforth designated as foundation precursor. Chapter 2 the O5 Council. The professional executive administration of the foundation is to consist of an executive council composed of 13 individuals from each of foundation precursor. The aforementioned 13 individuals of this executive council were selected due to the following criteria. Leadership position and respective foundation precursor. Possession of memory regarding a Cold War I. Future members of this Executive Council are not required to possess both of the above-mentioned qualities. The referent of this Executive Council is agreed to be the O5 Council. The following alternative reference, Overseer's Committee, Level 5 Council and O5 Command have been proposed and rejected. The function of the O5 Council is to facilitate initial transition from Foundation Precursors. Each O5 Council member is designated with a Roman numeral ranging from 1 to 13. Other organizations 
merch into the foundation, henceforth are to be denied representation on the O5 Council. Chapter 3 Groups of Interest Organizations with awareness of anomalous phenomena that are not subsumed under foundation control are hereby designated as groups of interest. The foundation's default approach towards groups of interest is to pursue for the dissolution, termination, and or assimilation of the personnel and resources. Addendum 05-1-13 Succession Note Regarding SCP-001, file displayed is dependent on logged in O5 account. Welcome O51 to my successor. As the main editor of SCP-001, I have already written all that you need to know. After SCP-001, only the 13 of us knew of it, and we each stood at the height of our respective precursor organizations. Certainly, we were fated to take command and unite as a foundation. As you can tell from the vote, there were two other alternatives for SCP-001 from our debate at Beijing. They were ultimately voted down, but 2 and 12 left their marks on foundation history. A pity that 12's limited command of the English language must it a relatively vernacular term as opposed to as opposed to twos and mine. Nevertheless, our initiative to speak up for the first O5 meeting will be remembered and honored in almost every SCP article ever pinned down. As for the Foundation's mission, I hope you and your colleagues continue our work. Welcome, O5-2. To my successor, Sandalana once said, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Now, the world as a whole cannot remember the past, but does it repeat itself? Yes, it does. During the Second World War, was there not another authoritarian dictator terrorizing Europe? And were the Chinese not massacred again? Of course, the Titos defer, and America kept itself together throughout that war. Maybe that civil war occur again in our lifetime, or will occur soon. Or that scaled down skirmish, was it? That still leaves the factory, but it is elusive. Product of an anomaly should be an anomaly in itself. SCP-001 in this world are not exceptions. Piece by piece, this world is undoing and repeating itself. For every SCP, not, if not minimally, in our control, the process is ongoing. Until then, there will be chaos in this system. Once, I propose that we guide the world back to its original state, but the others disagreed in favor of establishing tyranny. Ultimately, I acceded. There is no need to fight for my views. Nothing will change the process. No action is needed, except to wait. Or, in short, Kedder. Welcome, O53, to my successor. Anomaly and normalcy, both are subject to the consensus. Today's anomaly might have been yesterday's normalcy and vice versa. The scandal lying uncovered is one such example. Debatomania is no longer anomalous when the consensus side is no longer holds water. Apply the consensus onto SCP-001 to the rest of the world. The occult worlds do not exist. They exist only to those who know the anomalous. To those who know the anomalous, occult war I does not exist. Only 13 men imagined it to have existed, and that could have been SCP-001. However, the Council established our own consensus, and my opinion shifted to that when it was announced. More of us decided that we should establish order over all anomalous matters instead of suggesting that we might be the problem. That would only be the first of the many consensuses reached. 
he fully held influence over the world's conceptions of what is normal and what's not. Perhaps they resulted in the world you have grown up in. Thus, remember these. Consensus has value, and to be normal is to abide by the consensus. Welcome, 054. To my successor, I'm one of the few who fought in the front lines for both Fifth Occult Wars. I was gravely disappointed by the official Fifth Occult War, which is more accurately a skirmish. Those boxers similarly could not compare to the day fights and clockwork worshippers. Even after turning almost every other agency and cult into our enemies, the Vine's Gut Society cannot compare to total war. Perhaps it's a youthful bloodlust in me talking. It's a frequent quirk since SCP-001 happened, like during Beijing when I voted for Tu's proposal out of impulse. I didn't care for his strange theory. I only wanted to fight on. So many sacrifices were made already, and I have made significant sacrifices as well. They cannot end in quiet days. But now I'm old, and quietness still come for me. But you are here to fight on. Make sure that it does not end in quietness. Welcome, 055. To my successor, you now know that the world was once averted from total destruction due to an uncontrolled event. And because it is uncontrolled, we cannot guarantee if it can work again, or if it would be in our favor. We should not rely on uncertainties like SCP-001. As a species, we have mastered and stomped on all the beasts and lands of the world respectively. Many crafts are now mastered by man, crafts that were once dreams. The restoration of the world is simply another thing to be mastered. If the world can rewind itself, we can do it too. By combining our resources, the magnum opus I envisioned can be reality. It might have been utilized already, or construction is still ongoing, but SCP-001 will be irrelevant when it's ready. By our will, mankind rules eternal. Welcome, 056. To my successor, we agreed that SCP-001 happened, but we don't know if it is the only time SCP-001 ever happened. Could it happen again? Most of the world be near its annihilation for it to work. How much is it enough? How about transviality memory retention? A more accurate term than that ill-defined compromise. How does it work? Why only us? Can it be replicated? The list goes on. The unusual phenomenon's level of uncertainty surely necessitates quantification. Euclid is a reminder of that conviction, that more should be known about SCP-001. I suppose you would have that drive, cultivated by the foundation advocacy for scientific methodology. Containing and protecting cannot be the ends. Knowledge is. But the majority of the First Council was too afraid to probe and wanted to either abandon it to be preventative, neither solve the problem really. But you can do your part in solving it. Only you can see this and have access to however little I can find out. So let that be your starting point. May you deliver results and bring meaningful data to SCP-001. Welcome, 057, to my successor. Officially, only 13 people were immune to SCP-001, but there is another, Jibo Mani. He was a consultant working for the Sublime Port, and we met when I took refuge in Constantinople due to Napoleon. He was most hospitable and became fast friends despite the traditional enmity between Christendom and Dar al Islam. We stayed with each other until the occurrence of SCP 001, where I find myself in Rome. In the current world, he managed to contact me, and I knew he remembered our friendship in the last past. Meeting him, we spoke extensively about our memories of a Cold War I. 
I invited him to join me in an upcoming gathering in Beijing and other men who remembered the war, but he politely declined. The bro would rather defend his friends and clansmen, especially when we knew that the Middle East was in chaos then. He was skeptical towards one and his affiliation, but I could not blame his suspicion and respected his wishes. He parted ways since then, while I took on the title of O five seven. Chibo told me that he would return to Iran to gather allies for his cause. Just as he desired to protect his loved ones, my obligation is to the world, and I will defend it. P.S. Out of respect, I decided not to report to the council about Chibo. I do hope. That whatever organization the war and the council built in the end will not clash. The only wish to protect. Welcome, O five eight, to my successor. As you can infer from the votes, there were three choices that ultimately led to SCP zero zero one. One's proposal was really the only option. The others were stupid. Two essentially demanded us. To be anarchists, while twelve assumed that we're a bunch of lunatics who need an oriental drug. No, thank you to either. Most of us have been collecting anonymous objects to begin with, so the foundation is not much different from at least half of its precursors. As for the other half, the groups of interest will have everyone on the same page. You should have been doing this job for quite some time, so I expect you to keep it up. Welcome, O five nine, to my successor. SCP series one is a restructuring of reality. That's our consensus. Therefore, SCP series one is reality bending. To claim that reality will inevitably revert to correct the world, which is similar to Scranton's famous address on the topic. That being said. The latter insisted that reversion would be caused by the reality bender. It might be hard to control sapient beings, although some scholars believe that an engine may theoretically increase the probability. This prospect brings hope that the greatest known act of reality bending can be reverted, and when it happens, the world might revert to its previous state, complete with my home in the African Free State. Where the IK class scenario did not really apply, it might as well be the previous world's only safe haven. That stability was lost after SCP-001, and I ended up working in a less hospitable setting. Even though I was not favorable in one's concept, the foundation is by far a better environment. It is also a good place to figure out. How to realize Granton's ideas, or at least invest in someone who can? Despite the money and subjects I have supplied, progress has been slow, and I have come to terms that I might never regain my losses. But you can. Should SCP-001 happen again, you should continue the research in whatever way you can, because you shouldn't be like me and lose that which is yours. No one deserves that. Welcome, O five ten, to my successor. There were thirteen groups that started the foundation, but not all of us stand equal. Take twelve at Mamlati Institute, unendorsed by the Qing, but mine is similarly in decline. Our namesake was a witch hunter, but none of us actually met a real witch. An interest group was a more accurate description of the. For our knights of the late nineteenth century, if not for the memories I had of a cold war eye, it would have remained that way. When one spoke of his great scheme, I have my doubts about fighting the anomalous. Each new generation of knights is a shadow of the previous, and it shows. In the cold war eye, I remembered my knights being annihilated by Napoleon's clockwork soldiers. They were and are not ready for an occult war or any fight against demons or sorcerers. To submit to one's proposal would have meant gruesome deaths for them again. As their grandmaster, 
I could not send them to their deaths. When the vote was not in my favour, I briefly considered to not abrage to the terms of merger. That thought perished when I heard eight proposal so to foster the unity of our newly dubbed foundation. After that, I decided that my knights should at least die meanfully against monsters rather than a sacrifice. All of us die eventually. Make it meaningful for those you hold responsibility over. P.S. All things considered, the resources from the other precursors did ensure that the last generation of knights will be better than the previous batch. Welcome, O511, to my successor. Congratulations for your service to the Foundation. I imagine that you have to climb the hierarchy to reach this position. Unlike I, who was granted this position by virtue of being the first, your virtue must be astonishing, unlike mine. During a Cold War, I, Kyoto, fell to the Davites, Emperor Komei, and most of the council were killed. The Shogun and his agents only fled to Ezo. I was among the few to have left Kyoto alive, but only because I feared for my life. I ultimately regretted my choices, and shame overtook me. Not even death liberated me. At least Emperor Komei passed away in a less violent manner in this new world. This brought me to my vote at Beijing that we were hallucinating and the amnestics would cure us. Actually, I only want to forget, but consensus was weak, and I am not allowed to forget. One insisted that we were fated to work together and no one else shall stand alongside us in the council. At least it was tolerable, knowing that there were others like me. Three, seven, thirteen were very positive influences. My successor. I know not your colleagues in the old five council of your time, but they shall be your sworn allies. Remember that. Welcome, O five twelve, to my successor. I am sure you have heard of amnestics, and I am sure that it has been improved over the years. But the origins of amnestics as a whole is one of the many secrets of the Foundation I will explain. Amnestics was originally a secret of the men clan of alchemists. I married one of the clan's women to claim the right to make it. Originally, I wanted to cure myself of a series of disturbing visions, which we now recognize as memories of a cold worn eye. Before I could prepare the concoction for myself, Eleven contacted me and told me of similar visions. Soon, I gained knowledge that there are more men who experience the same vision than they intend to meet at the capital. As a physician, it is my duty to see to everyone's recovery, and I attempted to convince them that it would be safe if we take no unnecessary action. Most of them disagreed with my views, so they insisted on a democratic vote as per the ways of the West. Needless to say, my views were rejected, but not amnestics. I concluded that it is useful for it can refer to memory, vaguely similar to SCP-001. Thus, amnestics stopped being a cure for the illness I had proposed, but to cure the common folk of any knowledge of the abnormal. Unfortunately, Patriarch Mung did not approve of the foreigner's theft of a clan secret, and the Mung clan was one of the earliest groups of interest we faced. The fates were as the boxes were. Although a junior too might have escaped to Shangong with what little they knew of the formula. Please be of use to the council. But if you have earned this position, you should be of use. Welcome, O513. To my successor. SCP-001 said that only the thirteen leaders of the precursors were immune from its effects, but that was incorrect. There were only twelve. One and I have only known each other for decades, and I owed him a lot. 
Naturally, when he asked for a tiebreaker vote, I obliged. He filled me in on a day fight incursion in India to complete the deceit. When there were things I did not know of, I blamed it on the British's unwillingness to be open with my regiment. I suppose you might be ashamed of the title by now, but if not for me, I dare say we might have three different foundations at war with one another. For me, it was an opportunity to be treated more seriously by the Europeans, and I took advantage of it. Since then, I have made many amends so that others may not end up in my situation. Thus, promise me that you vote according to your will, not by another's. Document OWI The following is a compilation of executive summaries of various anomalous incidents that has occurred during a Cold War I and plausible anagoras event in the current reality. Executive summaries have been compiled by the first iteration of the O5 Council via the following format. Phenomenon, Description, Analogue in Current Reality A summary description of a Cold War I is as follows. A global war occurring throughout the 19th century on Ottomani coalesced from three separate conflicts in Europe, Napoleonic War, East Asia, Daylight Conquest, and North America, American Civil War. It is also notable for third use of anomalous objects leading to an IK-class global civilization collapse scenario. For information on a Cold War I and its consequences, see Redacted. Europe and Russia Phenomenon Unlondon Proposal Description An evacuation plan was presented to the British Parliament by the Majesty's Foundation for the secure containment of the paranormal, whereby the populace of London shall be evacuated to an underground shelter in light of potential French invasion of the British Isles. Proposal was rejected due to its impracticality and relative ease of alternative evacuation to Ireland and other dominions. Analogue in current reality, on London proposal was not presented to the British Parliament. However, the term on London is used as a reverent for SCP-1678. Phenomenon Relic Front Description A series of battles in the Yore Mountains between the French-led Continental System and Daylight Empire. Russia joined the Continental System during this period, primarily offering assistance via the House of Romanov's Pact with a Gregory. Analogue in current reality, Napoleonic France instead invaded Russia, to which SCP-2617-A instances were used to retaliate. Phenomenon Summerthrace Anomaly Description Access restricted to 051 Analogue in current reality, see SCP-1173 Phenomenon the Schiffsteller and Gipschubber. Description The Schiffsteller and Gipschubber were thaumaturgic memeticists working through Europe, providing textual memetic effects to clients. Analog in current reality, the Schiffsteller were killed in the Battle of Hauschausen on the orders of General Franz Fire von Messi, with the exception of POI 382 Thilo's Rest See SCP 5382, SCP 5734, and SCP 5054EX for related anomalies. The status of the Gustober is currently unknown but presumed to be active. North Africa and the Middle East Phenomenon for the post crisis. Description, an eruption originated from the crater in French Levant, spawning numerous entities which later attacked locals and occupying French forces. Some entities were captured by the French for undetermined purposes. Analog in current reality did not occur. Instead, French Colonel Picard de Pallepier 
augmented containment of SCP-1844 as per Napoleon's orders. Phenomenon Evacuation of Tehran Description A Mr. Surprise Day Fight Assault into Tehran 90% of the city's populace evacuated to the city. Shah Nasser al -Din was able to escape with the aid of the golems summoned by the city's rabbinic community and an ancestral Tarquin. Analog in current reality, aforementioned Tarquin is believed to be SCP-2067, in which Shah Nasser al -Din is believed to be aware of. No known evacuation of Tehran's populace have been noted thus far. Phenomenon Invasion of Lord George and Marjut Description Following a failed invasion of the Ottoman Empire, the Treating Day Fight Forces intentionally destroyed the Iron War of Dal Khanen, triggering an invasion of the Middle East by the forces of Lord George and Majud. After suffering heavy losses, the Ottoman army repelled the invaders and rebuilt the Iron War of Dal Khanen with the assistance of neo-Gnostic engineers from the Kingdom of Eronia a French client state. Analog in current reality, the Iron War of Donald Quinn is contained as SCP-2309 and no known breach has ever taken place. North America Phenomenon Stanek's Testimony Description A testimony obtained from Father Mustanek, a white human with the ability to travel to different points in history while asleep, designated as Phenomenon 2896-012 by the American Secure Containment Initiative, ASCI. Stranding claims that the general populace have no recollection of a Cold War I in the 20th century and beyond. Analog in current reality, Stranick is contained as SCP-2896. The claim of no recollection among the general populace is believed to be due to a CK-class restructuring event. Phenomenon Navajo Nation Description A Navajo Nation state formed following the Ox invasion of Texas. Members of the Navajo Nation possess the anomalous ability to alter its appearance into that of various animal species, which is believed to have contributed to the Navajo's resistance against Sem Anarok. As such, ASCI has rounded up significant portions of the Navajo population for experimentation to identify measures against mental maladies created by Sem Anarok. Analog in current reality, semi-autonomous Native American territory formed after the Treaty of 1868. SCP-2750 population has been decimated due to the policies of the ASCI. Phenomenon Gerald's General Goods Description A small but formidable group formed after the complete disbanding of Mary Catherine and Duke's trade goods. The group was designed to create anomalies and to supply them to people for a price. Gerald Niccolo, the leader of the group, was reported to have created a book that, once weekly, would inform him of a way to create an anomaly and how to control it after creation. Analog in current reality, group was disbanded shortly after being founded, but did create a failed prototype of the book before disbanding, which was since been heavily altered by another entity. Phenomenon Preacher of the Cicada Description A middle-aged man walked North America during the height of the American Civil War. He would walk to family gatherings and deliver a speech of hope, attempting to ensure everyone that everybody would survive the war. Persons at the gatherings would offer gifts in the basket that he brought, so he may offer them as tribute to the Cicada Lord. Unlock and con reality, according to the confiscated text redacted, the Cicada Lord was supposed to be various at a preacher sometime during his servitude. He then shed the man's skin and allowed his spawn to manifest in the empty skin. The puppet is said to wander around North America, giving speeches of hope to the participants of family gatherings. Phenomenon Civil Rights Act 
of 1866. Description. A bill to sign into law by the U.S. Congress, a nominous element in the bill's text, cost 3.2 million human beings with non-standard anatomical features to manifest in cities controlled by the Union. A majority of the humanoids were possibly drafted into the Union Army after initial containment efforts by the ASCI were met with failure. Analog in current reality, the bill was vetoed by President Johnson and a non-anonymous revision was introduced to the U.S. Senate by embedded ASCI agents. Copies of the original bill are currently in storage, though it is believed that other copies currently exist outside containment. Phenomenon Bigfoot Description Reports of ape-like creatures that stand upright are noted within the northwest region of North America. ASCI agents were sent to investigate these claims, and communication was lost. After approximately three months, the agents returned claiming that they had made a treaty with them, allowing them to use their anomalous biotechnology in exchange for aid whenever the creatures would need them. Analog and current reality, the apes went uncontacted from humans for thousands of years after an event known as the Day of Flowers. Instances have been spotted off and on throughout human history, and only recently have the creatures been designated as SCP-1000. East Asia Phenomenon Southern Qing Dynasty Description A rump state established by Qing loyalists who have fled to Taiwan Island following the day fight conquest of East Asia. Despite limited naval capabilities, the Southern Qing were able to establish settlements on various islands across the Pacific Ocean via unknown means. Analog in current reality paralleled to the Kuomintang's exile to Taiwan following the Chinese Civil War. Additionally, SCP-2880 is speculated to be the means in which the Southern Qing used to settle on other islands. Phenomenon Later Qing Dynasty Description A Chinese state located in central China, founded after the Daifight's occupation of Shangxi Province, China. Despite being surrounded by Daifight occupied territories, the later Qing has maintained independence. Rumors allege that it is ruled by a figure named Qing Shi Huang. It is unknown if it is indeed Qing Shi Huang, first emperor of the Qing dynasty, or a person using the name Qing Shi Huang. Analog in current reality, no such piety is known to exist. SCP-2101 is to be monitored at all times, and the Foundation is to offer support to SCP-2101 instances in the containment of the former. Phenomenon Legend of Sun Wind Description A folk legend originated from contemporary Dingshu Province, China. It revolves around a prominent martial artist who died protecting a village from a Daifight regiment. The corpse of Sun Wind was never found. Analog and current reality Sun Wind is one of the personas utilized by SCP 2788. However, it has no recollection of fighting against the Daifights. Non-combatant regions Phenomenon Chu Shuang Insurgency Description Second-hand reports of sapient alpacas inciting rebellions in the Prasuradi of Peru said insiders advocated for Inca religion to serve a state religion. Outcome of insurgency is unknown. Analog in current reality Peru declared independence from Spain in the late 19th century. As there is no attempt to enforce Inca religion as state religion, involvement of SCP-1253 is believed to be minimal or insignificant. Phenomenon Messer's Fourth Law of Anomalous Phenomena Count Messer, a physicist that originated the area known as a secluded garden, set forth a law regarding anomalous phenomena. For every anomalous phenomena, there is a non-anomalous phenomenon to balance it out within the universe. Whenever a phenomenon is fully explained to be non-anomalous, another anomaly would manifest in the universe to balance it out. This law applies to all fields of silence where anomalies occur. Analog in current reality, 
after the occurrence of SCP-001, an anomaly was explained by the SCP Foundation, yet no other anomaly was discovered using redacted Universal Reality Detector, SARWOK, breaking Messer's fourth law of anomalous phenomena. However, as the failure of Messer's fourth law of anomalous phenomena is considered an anomaly, law was never broken, as an anomaly did manifest it in the form of the failure of Messer's fourth law redacted. The following paradox manifested as SCP-033 Mathematics SCP-2821 Physics SCP-2046 Chemistry and SCP-1877 Biology correlating with the main branches of scientific study where anomalies normally manifest.